garment. Precisely. Oh. Ah. Now, where do those kids live? Oh, don't tell me you don't know. Oh. Get out and find them. Go. Oh, poor Edwina. Come here, my pet. Yeah. Having to witness such rudeness. At the beginning of this administration... You must think of Lieutenant Castillo as a tariff barrier. One that had to be eliminated. Unlike you, you see. A firm believer in free trade. Are you too warm? <gasps> this was most unwise. <gasps> well, it's too late. It's too late. They know. Oh, God. Stop it! Edwina! Oh, my God. Drop the gun! You okay? Well, call an ambulance! At once, can't you see she's hurt? Oh, oh, oh. I'll go to a thrift shop at lunch. What's this? Oh, we saw it chipped in because we love you. What is it? Open it! Go, oh, it's an inflatable house. Come on. How's your warehouse sting? <laughs> Nada. We've been hearing that John C. Costaladas back in town. Everybody's afraid to bite the hook. I vaguely remember. Fill me in. Up until a couple of years ago, Costalada was the master fence of stolen goods in South Florida. I'm talking by the shipload. I already ran into some trouble in Mexico. He bought his way out. Yeah, he's slick as they come. He works strictly as a broker so that he doesn't get dirty. Well, we have to catch him literally taking possession of goods he knows are stolen. It's not going to be an easy job. The only way to do that is to flip one of his retailers. Yeah, well, Switek and I worked him a year ago and got zip. Why don't you get back on him? OK. That's really nice. You like it? It's like a new start or something. It's a girl. Harriet. Your life gets out of whack sometimes. Crazy things do happen. Like my house blowing up. I'm glad I got you. Pepe, you hitting my bourbon bottle again? No, nunca más, señor Crooked. Interrupting something? Uh-uh. Harry and I are just having something to eat. We're gonna let Stan and Darlene have some uh, time alone tonight. How is Stan and Darlene getting along anyway? Okay, I guess. The guy's too good. That's his problem. And here's someone who can crush your head in his bare hands, and he cares that your eggs are done just right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Sonny, it's gorgeous. You oh, like it, baby? I love that. Mm. Mm. Well, then, wait till you see the necklace that goes with it. <gasps> Oops, cat's out of the back. Necklace? <laughs> Say hello to Morris. 
easy does it, oh. or you'll be cat <gasps> Oh, you wouldn't hurt me, would you, baby? <laughs> Just on your back. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Sonny, you're something else. You gonna kill us? Maybe. Maybe not. I need something to tie me over until I get on my feet again. You understand? Maybe if you... You tell me where your safe is. I will let you live. Come on. Come on. Which one of you little birds wants to watch the other one die? Huh? What's safe? I think you are lying. Why did you look this way? You're hallucinating. It's not in there. I think it is. Ernesto, it's not there. Don't go in there. It's in there, Andy. Money! <laughs> Dubs, say hi to Elvis, former mascot of the University of Florida football Gators. Currently, he's a watchdog and resident dope sniffer of the St. Vitus Dance. He got benched his senior year for taking a little chomp out of a Georgia free safety. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, call him off, man. I, I don't even like how to get his shoes. Hey, 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 don't talk like that, man. You're gonna hurt his feelings. Don't mind him, Elvis. He's from New York. Yeah. You know. I've been trying to get a hold of you on your beeper line all morning ever since he cut loose. The first thing he did was, first thing he cornered this uh, charter fair. You know, mommy, hubby, Teresa types just blew their mind. Then he proceeds to scarf up their whole catch of the day. I don't believe this. <laughs> then he cruises down about two slips to the Elmo 2, boards her, and drops a major load on the Harbor Master's forward deck. <laughs> Uh, you ever consider trading them in on a nice French poodle? <laughs> and then for an encore, he decides to pay a courtesy call to Rolandes, you know, the, the Panamanian vice consul. <laughs> Most of the stuff you see on this pier, that's his. <laughs> you miserable, incontinent, worthless piece of sediment. You're dead. <sighs> I've been away too much lately. He just does this to get attention. Ah, oh, well, yeah, totally. I mean, uh, Animals have feelings, too. <laughs>